my schoolers, you are welcome to my school channel and I am Abiola. In this particular clip, we'll be tackling question 21 to 35. Don't forget that this is the Jam CBT pass question for the year 2017, the subject biology. So join me as we tackle question 21 to 35. Use the diagram to answer the question that follows. The dentition is found in what? Okay, so this is a diagram. This is a particular kind of um, dentition. So looking through all of the options, you realize that all of these um, options given to us, they are all mammals, okay? Well, some may be omnivores, okay? Like for instance, we have man and rat. Some, uh, I think, yeah, a particular option to affirm that uh, is a carnivore, that's a dog. And uh, looking at sheep, sheep is an herbivore, okay? So let's go back to the dentition we have here. If it's going to be a rat okay you will notice that the incisors for rats okay the front teeth they grow they continually grow and sometimes they even grow to the extent that they curve back inside sticking back into their gum so um we can see that this dentition does not fit for your rat okay because the incisors will be well pronounced both the lower and the upper one uh, if you come to a dog you will observe that for dogs the um, the canine will be well protruded, okay? But the one coming down and the one going forth, okay? So this is definitely not for a dog. And also if you look at the number of teeth, when you count, we have um, two incisors, okay? We have um, one canine, we have um, two uh, premolars and three molars, okay? So if we bring together this number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is just one side of the old dentition, 8 lower, 8 upper, that is 16, then for the other side making 32. So this is definitely a, dent a dentition for man. But how are we sure that this is not for a sheep? Because the dentition in sheep is also 32, the number of teeth I mean is also 32, okay, just like in man. So I haven't struck out the option of dog and rat, so we are left with sheep and man. So we have firm once again that a sheep, okay, is an herbivore. So that tells us that canine okay, is absent and the way the incisor is being protruded so is quite different. And the upper jaw, okay, the upper side of the mouth, okay, incisors are absent. So this is definitely not for sheep. So the correct answer here is a dentition that is found in man. So man is the correct option, two incisor, okay, one canine two premolars and three molars. Correct option is D for man. Question 22. When an ovary is placed on the receptacle, okay, above the floral part, it is referred to as what? Okay, so this is trying to remind us of certain terms like um, epigenous, okay, uh, epigenous flowers, we have perigenous flowers and hypogenous flowers. So in this context, we are looking at an ovary that is placed on the receptacle above the floral part and the floral part here yeah, we are talking about the stamen okay the carpels the sepals and the petals so when you have a situation whereby the ovary is placed okay over or above the receptacle that is a kind of superior ovary or hypogenous ovary okay so in the case whereby the ovary is attached or is being found um, below the floral parts, okay, that's an inferior ovary, and you refer to that as an um, epigenous ovary, okay. In cases where the floral parts are attached to the rim of the floral tube, okay, and the floral tube is not fused with the ovary walls, okay, and that kind of arrangement, you refer to it as the perigenous kind of flower, so, or the half, um, half inferior ovary. So, the correct uh, option here is superior ovary or an hypogenous ovary. So the correct option once again is option B. Question 23. Uh, the type of nutrition exhibited when organisms live on the body surface or inside the body of another type of organism is what? Okay, that is parasitic kind of nutrition. When you refer to the option A, Olozoic, that is a mode of nutrition whereby you obtain nutrients, okay, by ingesting um, an organic material, then your body processing it and then using it. Parasitic, you are living on or inside um, another organism. The organism becomes your host, okay. So, 
Um, for instance, um, you talk about um, lice or ticks, okay, living on, um, on animals, okay. Uh, we we'll talk about, for the internal type, we we'll talk about different types of worms in man or in pigs. Uh, when you talk about saprophytic, okay, that is living on um, dead things, okay. Uh, when you talk about carnivores, that is living off flesh, okay, like hunting um, another kind of animal to obtain your food. Examples of carnivores, we talk about dogs, we talk about um, the white cats and even the domesticated cats. So the correct option here is option B for parasitic. Question 24. An example of organism which exists as a colony is what? That is a vovox, okay? It belongs to the kingdom of plantae, kingdom plantae, all right? And the phylum talophyta. Another example is your, um, your spirogyra, okay? The spirogyra exists as filament, while vovox as um, colony, okay? Coming to these other options here, paramecium, uglina, chlamydomonas, okay? They belong to the kingdom of protista. Um, for chlamydomonas, it is a protophyte, okay, protophyte, or it belongs to the phylum protophyta, okay, these other two here, yeah, they belong to the kingdom of protozoa, okay, um, we see this, uh, this, uh, this is a kind of um, a plant-like protist, okay, why this is an animal-like protist, then coming to Uglina, it exhibits both plant and animal-like um, characteristics, so the correct option here to the question we are given is option A for vovox. Don't forget to use the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website where you can get for yourself the My School tools. Okay, you can either get the My School mobile app or the My School software for just a token of 1000 naira. Remember, these tools will help you better prepare for your coming exams. It's a well simulated experience designed just for your compatibility. So, right now we are tackling question 25. The following are examples of morphological variation, except what? When you talk about uh, morphological variation, we are referring to form and structure, and this includes size, color, and uh, fingerprint. Ability to taste uh, PTC, okay? It's something that belongs to the other one, the physiological kind of variation. So the exception here is option B, ability to taste PTC. Please, we need you to always hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get alerts as soon as we upload the next video just for you. Question 26. Ability to taste PTC in some individuals is a character that is what? Okay, PTC is a felin to mind. Okay, uh, you know when some individuals taste it, it's very bitter and to some it is tasteless. Okay, this is a kind of um, character that is inheritable, that is you can inherit it. Okay, and is definitely a kind of physiological variation. So the correct option here is heritable, that is you can inherit it. Option B is the most valid option. Question 27. Agglutination is the clumping or coagulation of the red blood cell. Okay, this happens uh, when you introduce antiserum A okay, to a blood group or the red blood cell that carries antigen A, or you introduce the antiserum B, okay, anti B serum rather, or anywhere you want to put it, and you introduce it to antigen B, okay, on the red blood cell. So this will cause the clumping of that particular red blood cell. And you should know that the antigen A is found, okay, on the red blood cell. The antigens are found on the red blood cell. Aside from the antigens A and B found on the red blood cell, we also have the resource factor, okay. So let's not go into all of those uh, vocabularies, okay. Let's just stick with the question we are given. So agglutination is a coagulation or clumping of the red blood cell, okay, when you introduce the serum, a, kind, a particular kind of serum. So, going by our options provided, we will see that the correct option here is option D. Agglutination is the coagulation of the red blood cell. Option D is super correct. Question 28. What organelle is the site of photosynthesis in plants, okay? that is um, the organelle that contains chlorophyll and that is the chloroplast which is needed for photosynthesis the ribosome is responsible for decoding the message or the translation okay and the formation of peptide bonds okay or making of proteins simply uh, the cytoplasm okay it's 
provides um, holding for the components of the cell. The mitochondria can be referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. So, going by all of these options, we just want to lay emphasis that the organelle that is the site of photosynthesis in plants is the chloroplast. Option A is super correct. Which of the following is a characteristic of a bacteria except okay which of them they are characteristics of bacteria except just um, one of them we have option a let's examine these options together they can be seen under the microscope of course they are microscopic organisms okay we have option b they range from 0.5 micron or micrometer okay in diameter uh, we have certain presentations that we give you from the range of 0.1 to 10 microns or micrometer option b is still valid for consideration we have um c they are grouped accordingly to their cell shape of course um, we have different um, shapes attached to them we have the cocos for the spherical shape remember we can have a um, staphylococcus um streptococcus either the chained or the uh, grape cluster form okay we also have the bacillus okay the rod like shape we have the vibros and what have you so we have option d they do not cause disease this is an exception okay this is quite um, invalid the fact that some cause disease and some do not like the ones um, that cause disease we talk about salmonella typhi respon typhi responsible for typhoid okay we have vibro cholera for responsible for cholera and the likes we have other important ones okay that are actually useful in the food making industry like in the wine industry the dairy product industry the meat industry the important one is the lactobacillus um, bacteria species or the the <clears throat> or you have um, you can call it the lactic bacteria okay so option d is invalid because it's um, quite stereotypic it's quite um, it's quite one-sided they do not cause disease of course some cause disease some also have economic importance so the exception here is option d they do not cause disease question 30 the level of organization of amoeba and uglena cell is what okay they belong to the kingdom of uh, protistas uh, or the kingdom protist when you mention protist they are unicellular or single-celled organisms okay uh, amoeba they belong to the phylum of protozoa okay protozoa and also as well as uh, uglena okay this um this phylum, they have they are animal-like protists. Okay, why for Glina it exhibits both plant-like and animal-like characteristics. So, coming back to the question we are given, the level of, of an organization of amoeba and Glina cell is what is the cell level because they belong to the kingdom of protista, kingdom protista, and protists they are unicellular organisms. So the correct option is option C for cell. Kindly remember that the link in the description below is made available so that you can ask your questions right now and get solutions within minutes. All you just have to do is to click on the link. It takes you to the My School website where our army of solution providers are waiting just for you to give you the answers and the solutions that you need. Okay, so right now we're tackling question 31. The appendicular skeleton includes what? Okay, so when you talk about the vertebrate skeleton, you are talking about the axial skeleton, okay, and the appendicular skeleton. Okay, so um, the axial skeleton they form the central axis. Okay, they are the central which every other um, part connects to, and they include the skull, the vertebral uh, column, the sternum, okay, or the breastbone, okay, and the ribs. So why the other ones, which is referred to as the appendicular skeleton they are the parts that articulate with the axial skeleton okay and they include the limb girdles and the limb so the limb girdles um they involve or they entail the pectoral and the pelvic girdle so going by the context of the options provided for us the most viable option here includes option a which is the pectoral and the pelvic girdle option a is super correct going through every of our video clips at any point that you see one or two questions that you would like to make a preference on the kind of solutions or explanations you would like to share, kindly use the comment section below, indicate the question number and the explanations you would like to share. Number 32. The protista that is a producer in an aquatic food chain is what? Okay, I'm looking at trypanosome. When you remember the disease, uh, the African trypanosomiasis, okay? 
uh, which is also referred to as the sleeping sickness caused by cesses fly okay this particular option here okay is a parasitic protozoa okay so it's definitely out of it we are talking about a producer uh, let's go to paramecium paramecium belongs to the kingdom of protista fine but the phylum of protozoa okay it's um, it's an animal like protist so it's out of it we have um chlamydomonas okay this is a this is a plant like uh, protist okay belongs to the phylum of protophyta under the kingdom protista okay so and it contains chlorophyll to be able to carry out autotrophic kind of nutrition so option c for chlamydomonas is correct considering amoeba option d that belongs to the kingdom protista and the phylum protozoa okay it's an animal like protein so it's out of it so the most correct and viable option here is option c for chlamydomonas question 33 the difference in structure morphological and um, behavior of plant and animal is called what okay difference underline the difference in the difference okay so difference refers to as variation okay so the most viable option here is variation adaptation is that um, adjustment that is being made for survival okay um, evolution talks about the change okay over time okay then we talk about succession ecological succession so the correct option here is variation this is a definition that fits the term variation option c is very correct question 34 use the diagram to answer the question that follows the structure is adapted for what okay at first we have to first um identify this dentition okay looking at the first two incisors okay followed by canine one canine then we have uh, two premolars and three molars okay so that makes eight um, teeth here we have eight here making 16 this is to a particular side then to the other side that makes 32 so this is a dentition of 32 and that is found in humans man so that makes an omnivore okay it's definitely not an herbivore because for an herbivore for example we have a um, sheep okay the canine is absent it doesn't tear flesh it feeds on plants very well and the incisors at the upper side the upper jaw is absent so it doesn't make um, the option b uh, viable we have carnivores for carnivores like dogs okay you will realize that the canine will be well protruded okay so that is out of it the canine is here we have um, option d for omnivores and carnivores no the most viable option the correct option is option a for omnivores man especially question 35 the product after the union of the male and female gametes in animals is called what okay so the the male gametes in animal that's the, talking about the sperm cell the female gametes the egg cell okay so the sperm cell fertilizes the egg cell okay to form a zygote so the immediate product is a zygote okay after a while the zygote develops into a blastocyst okay or some just uh, for whatever reasons we can just also talk about from zygote to embryo okay then after the embryo develops or well developed it um, grows into what we know as a fetus okay then a fetus then we have the baby so the correct option here the product after just immediately after the union of the male and female gametes in animals is referred to as the zygote option d is very correct Right now, we've come to the end of this segment, but there are more video clips to be re released. All you just have to do is to hit on the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next video clips just for you.